All right, I'm gonna show you how you can use a wireless bore gauge uh, set by MotionX to do the bore measurement, let's say if I don't have a setting ring as a reference or micrometer. Um, so usually what you do, you just take this um, bore gauge and you have to calibrate it either using a reference, a setting ring or micrometer, but I don't have that one. Let's say I don't have micrometer or setting ring. And I wanna do the measurement on this part. This is a part that I have. The spec says that the ID should be 1.960 plus minus of the tolerance, 1,000 inch, upper limit, lower limit based on the tolerance. That's what I have. So the question is if this part is good or not. All right, I'm gonna just take this wireless um, digital indicator called Blue Dial by MotionX. Install to the bore gauge, tighten the whole thing. All right, and the next step is you go and pair with this through our app. So your new measurement, select the new pairing and make sure this is on and um, you pair. Once it's paired, the number is gonna show up there in real time and you can see the full screen, right? Um, so the first step is make sure this is zero. Zero this one. And um, so you need to know what is the reading on this um, bore gauge right now. So I need to measure the size of the bore uh, gauge head and using this micro, uh, sorry, using this caliper. Um, I'm gonna put this one here. I try to measure this one. This is the tricky part a little bit. So you make sure to, you open the micrometer a little bit less than the size of this and just try to rock it back and forth and to make sure you get this dimension of this. In this case, I get 2.0285, right? So I got 2.0285, which means the size of this, right? So this one is 2.0285. So any number, if I push this one goes lower, this number should be subtracted from that. So this app allows you to enter a calculator, uh, calculated gauge. So enter any equation you want and apply it to that and create a new gauge. So I'm gonna create a new gauge by putting this equation, simply 2.0285 minus the reading of this at each time. Well, the, the, you should make sure it's zero. I see that this one is not zero. Probably I should do zero as well, like with the only measurement, but that's fine. It's gonna add a little bit of like um, error here. Hopefully it's not gonna affect my reading. Minus the reading is called gauge one or S1. The variable is assigned to this. You can either tap here on the gauge or just enter. So that's the number 2.0285, right? That's the reading. So I'm gonna add as a sensor, as a gauge. So now, this one represents the size. So if I just take my um, part and just test it using the way that usually you do with the bore gauge, right? Rock it back and forth, it shows the real time. But I don't need the real time. I need the minimum reading because that's the ID. So I have to go back, tap on the setting, select minimum peak holder, save it. And now what happens here? Look at this. So when you move this one back and forth, it takes the lower number right away, right? Well, you have to make sure you zero it every time, clear that reading, and this gives you that minimum reading, 1.959, right? Um, that's the ID. So another thing you can add here, you can add the tolerance, go to setting of that gauge, turn on the tolerance, upper limit, which is 1.961, and the lower is 1.959, save it. So when you come here, clear this one first, and when you do the measurement, it tells you if the part is within the range or not. As you can see, it's very, very close to border, which is 1.959, which based on my specs, is still accepted, but if it's a little bit less than that, it's not accepted, so this is good. I can capture and save it, actually, by tapping on the capture, it's safe. Another time, clear. And do another measurement, 1.95. That's good, saved. As simple as this. The whole process is very simple. Once you do the measurement and save it, the number is gonna be saved and uh, you can save it locally on your iPad. One more measurement. Well, they're very pretty consistent. Save, and that's it. And the whole thing is here and you can just 
um, go to readings and just look at those numbers. And as you can see, all three readings are very close to threshold, lower threshold, but that's fine. I can save them. And um, for future reference, I can use that reading, go to measurement, and you see the numbers are here. You can select and plot them again all three numbers. That's it. Again, you can use the calculator to um, calibrate your um, bore gauge, but of course the calculator might not be accurate enough, but if you don't have micrometer, if you don't have setting ring, that's the only option you have. Thanks for watching.